Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. I'm your host, Rob. This video, we're going to review The Walking Dead Season 4, Episode 14, The Grove. Okay, guys, welcome back. So, The Grove. <laughs> uh, obviously, this could turn out to probably be one of the most controversial episodes of The Walking Dead to date. Um, and I, I believe this is probably the episode that Rick was talking about uh, when I heard him uh, talk about communicating with uh, Greg Nicotero about an episode that would probably piss a lot of people off. This is, has to be it. This has to be it, bar none. Now, the episode in and of itself... First of all, it, it was a spectacular episode, not because, obviously, of the events, just the emotional pull. It, it was very shocking. Uh, there were some question. There were questions answered, obviously, that we've been looking for. Now, one of them, obviously, a lot of people assumed correctly that Lizzie was feeding the rats. Furthermore, we finally see uh, closure to the whole Tyrese. And, and him finding out who finally killed Karen and Dave. So we know now that it was not Lizzie. It was indeed Carol. She was not covering up for Lizzie. And we got to see the extent of Lizzie's mental mental capacity. I mean, we saw many hints of it. You know, her trying to suffocate Judith. Um, her thinking that walkers are like normal people. And just seeing her fly off the loose end. And it's a very, very... It was a sad, sad episode. Because you, what you see here is you see two little girls. Sisters. Who... One can't bring themselves to kill the living. The other can't bring themselves to kill the dead. And they, they're they so opposite in how they view things. And it's just, I mean... It's not the fact that the two kids died, and I'm not taking anything away from that. That was indeed very sad. And you don't have to be, you know, yes, we're not as invested in Lizzie and Mika as we are some of the other characters, because when we have seen them, it's been in so small doses that we really haven't gotten to know them. But, you know, if you recall, we didn't really know Sophia that well either. You know, I mean, she was in the, the, the series for almost a whole season and a half. Uh, pretty much a full season, really. But even just the, the talking about her character and, and referring to her, you know, she was like a season and a half we knew about her. And but we didn't. We, but she wasn't as she was about as involved as Mika and Lizzie. You know, it was. But the idea, you know, when we saw her come out the barn, it was gut wrenching. This very similar effect, but it was more powerful because now. Not only do you see two kids in a world where you you know you we always talk about the concern for you know their well being and you know their safety, but we don't even think about their mental capacity. You know, watching the show, you can almost assume that everybody can turn out to be like Carl, and it's not the case. And and to make things worse, here is Carol's character, who I gotta say right now this season, pff, up there, has to be up there. Because you have to give it to her character. I mean, she has come such a long way from being a helpless woman, abused by her husband, not even being capable of, in some ways, taking care of her own child, to now being put in a position where she had to do, um, an ex basically execute Lizzie. Because she... There's no way, like she said in the show, there's no way Lizzie could be around people because she could just, I mean, she killed her own sister. So who's to say she's not going to kill Carol or Tyrese in their sleep? And it's it's hard to watch. It was very hard to watch. And I know there's going to be people out there who are, who are not either, some of them will be Walking Dead fans, some of them will just be people that hear it in the news. Because I can tell you right now, this is going to make the news. There's going to be some kind of backlash for this episode. I mean, even even the uh, production team, uh, from what I understand, has said that this was a very concerning episode for them. And I can understand why. There, there was This was a very bold move. I mean, if there was 
any question of this show trying to be portrayed as grounded as possible, this is the episode. Because let's be honest, I mean, these things, if in a scenario like this, and it doesn't even have to be zombies, it can just be an apocalyptic scenario altogether, these are the things that are going to happen. People will lose their mind. People will kill each other. Kids will kill each other. People will kill kids. Whether it's a mercy kill or an execution like tonight, that's, that's how the world would be. If there was any apocalyptic event, it doesn't have to be zombies. We know that a zombie apocalypse is slim to none chance of happening. But, you know, a very powerful episode, very emotional. And, and it was emotional, you know, when, when I saw the Sophia episode a couple of seasons back and me and my wife watched it, that was emotional because you felt, you felt crushed not only because of seeing what happened to her, but because of all the energy and all the passion that the group, for the most part, put into looking for her, only to come away with, with that result. It was gut-wrenching. This one is a little different. It's gut-wrenching because you have two kids who have been in complete opposite directions mentally. Mika, obviously a very sweet young girl, very, very cute, very innocent, and you know that spells disaster in this world, where Lizzie... Yeah, you could argue that she's fit for this world, but she's fit to be alone. And if you're a kid that's alone in this world, you're not going to make it. And I think that's what 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 you get from the execution is that she probably would die at some point anyway. So yeah, it's kind of like a mercy kill even though she wasn't dying, but rather than leave her stranded, rather than than leave her alone to probably be eaten by walkers because that would happen. She was toying with disaster, you know, having the walker chaser, feeding the walker rats, and all those other things. So rather than her go out with a gruesome death or be subjected to being alone or running into a group that might possibly do something horrible, like, you know, rape her or something like that, and I hate to say that, but that that that's that's another scenario that she could have faced. You know what? You You, you take her out of this world. And in some crazy way that's probably for the best and and that's what makes it sad it's, you know it's because there is justification for what carol did there is there is and, and as as gut-wrenching as it was to watch as as hard as it is to see the character do it and melissa mcbride man she oh man she was awesome I mean, she's such a good actress, and, and you really got to appreciate her even more in this episode because not only did they, they put her character in a position to do something difficult, but she conveyed, she conveyed it so real, her, her ability to act, to cry on the spot, really show that emotion and the difficulty that the character had doing what, they, uh, what she had to do. Um, and I could honestly say, had she told Tyrese the truth about her killing Dave and Karen at any other time in this episode... Other than when she did, I think he would have offed her. I think he would have offed her. I think her, him seeing what she did and then hearing her confess what she did and why she did it, as hard as it was for him to forgive her, it made sense to him. But it only made sense because of watching what she had to do. Now, I can say when I saw Lizzie standing there with the knife bloodied and Mika on the floor, I, I was in shock. You know, I was, I was, I couldn't believe it. And I was more concerned with the baby. You know, the, the baby, thankfully, was still alive. But she said right there, she said, I was just going to I was just gonna uh, ch uh, change uh, Judith, too. You know, and then when she pulled the gun on Carol, I was like, uh-oh. Uh-oh, Carol's gone. You know, I thought maybe, because, you know, she's she lost it. And it, it. Anything can happen when somebody loses their mental capacity. And, um, you know, it, it's just a very powerful episode, very emotional probably uh, probably up there as one of the best episodes this season uh me, maybe even all time because of how how tragic it was but at the same time you got the message you got the message and you know i know a lot of people were not going to agree with what they did in this episode look everybody's entitled to their opinion but at the end of the day let's you know it's a fictional story the kids are obviously alive and well for episodes that involve kids, like the Sophia episode, this episode, um, you know, it's tougher because, you know, not because you envision that happened to your kids, but because 
their kids. You know, it's it's always tougher. My my wife had a rough time with this one, and I even asked her, I'm like, "Are you gonna stop watching?" She and she was like, no, "She's like, no, I'm not gonna stop watching." And you know, she wasn't offended by the fact that they they did this on the show. Some people will be, and that, and that's unfortunate because I think there's a bigger message to this show than just some adult killing a kid. You know what I mean? Uh, Lizzie and and Mika, two opposite people. Uh, viewing the world in two completely different ways and both in no position to survive. Mika because she's too sweet for her own good and Lizzie because she's basically too out of it mentally to be around people. Uh, both of those spell disaster in the apocalypse. If you're by yourself, you're as good as dead. If you're too nice and too trusting and you're, not, and you're too afraid to, uh, worst case scenario, kill somebody, you're dead. And because of that, the only way for Tyrese and Carol to move on and survive was without without Lizzie. And probably without Mika, too. But they would have had to have dragged her along because Mika, she didn't have any mental issues. But Lizzie, in some ways, did the dirty work. And it, it, just, it was really, really... It was an episode and a half. <laughs> it was definitely an episode and a half. Um... It was tough to watch, but not not in a bad way. You know, it's just like wow, that's that's deep. I mean, they really, really dug deep. But anyway, guys, uh, that's it for this review. If you haven't seen the episode, I mean, go check it out. <laughs> uh, it just there's there's nothing like it. Probably one of the a tough episode, a tragic episode, but probably one of the best episodes they've ever done. I like that they were very bold enough to do this. Um, you know, and they will get some backlash for it, but I think at the end of the day, it's going to benefit the show more than it's going to hurt it. Anyway, guys, this is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just do entertainment. Take it easy.